Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to show you guys a new Zane build for the DLC 1. Now, this build is a very good for mobbing and boss killing, and as you guys will see in the footage, you're actually able to legitimately one shot a good amount of the bosses that don't have immunity phases, and that's with using some of the new DLC legendary items. So, let's get straight into the talents. So we should probably go over why we're taking all these talents before we get into them. And that is the new DLC 1 Zane class mod, Seeing Dead. Whenever Zane damages an enemy with his weapon, he has a chance to automatically activate all of his kill skills. Now this is one stack, a lot of them can stack twice now. Additionally, his kill skills gain a plus 25% effect bonus. Now, your Digi Clone can also proc these for you. So you're pretty much just going to always have these up. Like... Even at the start of boss fights, you'll get them up super quickly and then have them up all the time. Just because of the chance and then having your Digi Clone also being able to proc them for you, they're up all of the time. It's just making you incredibly strong most of the time. So first we're going into Doubled Agent. We have Synchronicity. Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased gun damage, so 40% when we have both of them active. Um, three into three into increased magazine size, 25%. Um, then we have Donnie Brook, which kills kill whenever Zane kills an enemy. He has a digi, he and digi clone receive increased gun damage and health regeneration. And this stacks twice and this will be up pretty much all the time. So this is you and your digi clone getting 36% gun damage. And it's actually more because 50% on top of that, and then a ton of health regen. And this will be up pretty much all the time as well. We did one in the fractal frags, just your digi clone can throw grenade mods. Um, three in a duct tape mod mainly get lower in the tree the first shot of your magazines has a chance to throw a grenade this is mainly to get lower in the tree and it's some extra damage sometimes one in the pocket full of grenades which is a kill skill whenever you kill an enemy you gain grenade regeneration this stacks twice now the re reason i only went once into this is because this is pretty much all you need and we'll go over in a second when we get to this talent why you need that three in a supersonic man um, whenever one or more of your action skills are active, you gain increased movement speed for each one. So 24% when both are active, um, which also helps us with damage for another talent we'll go over in the next tree. Um, but the reason we need grenades is for boom enhance. Whenever Zane summons his digi clone, it consumes up to three grenades. For every grenade consumed, the digi clone gains increased pretty much everything. Gun damage, max health, fire rate, reload speed, and duration. And... This is a massive buff for your Digi Clown, so you always want to have grenades. And with having all your kills goes up all the time, you're going to be getting 16% grenade regeneration per second all of the time. So you're pretty much never going to not get the full utilization out of Boom Enhance. 3 and 2 Trick of the Light, Zane deals bonus cryo damage to enemies that aren't targeting him, 36%, which is a pretty big damage increase. Then we have Double Barrel which the clone is equipped with a copy of your weapon whenever you pull out your clone swapping with your clone causes zane and his clone to gain increased gun damage so an another really good reason for trick of the light or one of the main reasons is one of the augments we're using enemies are more likely to attack the clone for a few seconds after it's summoned and after swapping places and that's a four second duration so he pretty much taunts around him then we're using this other augment don't want to try to pronounce that whenever the clone takes damage zane shield is restored by a portion of that amount which is very nice just for your survivability and mobbing this is an extremely tanky build just because of how fast you're moving all the kill skills all the healing all that type of stuff you're extremely tanky so for the next trip we're going to hitman so first we have violent speed kill skill you gain increased movement speed stacks twice so 60 percent um without the 50 percent increase so even faster than that then in violent momentum you gained gun damage um for moving the faster you move the higher the gun damage 20 percent at default walk speed so with the um speed increase you get you can get some massive damage increases one into cool hand take a lower in the train just to have it you gain baseline reload speed and then six percent after a kill that stacks twice plus a 50 percent so it actually is a pretty decent reload speed even having one talent into it five into salvation which is a kill skill 50 percent of the damage dealt um as lifesteal now this is also getting another 50 percent um which makes it really good pretty much with the weapons we're using we almost full heal every time we hit something with it 
Then we have Death Follows Close. Um, all of your kills goes gaining increase effect and duration um this makes us get 50 percent increased bonus on all of our kill skills this plus our class mod then duration is plus seven seconds we didn't go in any into violent violence because of the weapon that we're using if you weren't using this specific weapon i'm using which i think you still should um you could go more into this because the fire rate is pretty good um but we went the rest into playing dirty which just has an extra chance of fire um, or a chance of fire an extra projectile after kill skills for the next five shots and since we are using a rocket launcher this is really really good because you'll pretty much have this up 100 percent of the time because of how much you're constantly getting um your kill skills refresh and how slow your rocket launcher is firing for our drone um we're using the bad dose augment and then the static field augment just from some more damage some shield regen regen and then some extra um stat buffs from bad dose so now for the weapons and the items so first off, the weapons we're using are the ion cannons. These things are insanely strong. And one thing about these weapons is that besides that they're insanely strong, if you use them with your drone, your drone hits really hard with these as well because the base damage is so high. Like I'll see my drone just hitting 200k hits all of the time, which is pretty nuts for a drone to be hitting. So that is really good. Um, if you want to know more about this item, go check out one of my previous videos. It might be my last video before this. Um, I go over how to get this thing, how to farm it. It's really easy to farm this thing, actually. So go ahead and go get you a bunch of these from the DLC. They're incredibly strong. Um, I know a lot of people think they might get nerfed. They might actually with how strong they are in some specific builds. Um, and obviously you would want the switching places with your digi clone for increased weapon damage 130 percent for a short time that's really good because something that's also really good with these if you don't know what these are they're basically a rocket launcher that you can't just shoot right away it's a charge rocket launcher that the longer you charge the more damage it deals up to a certain point and you can swap with your clone so say if i pull out my clone and since i have the increased damage what i can do is i can charge this up swap with my clone to get the increased damage and then shoot and it doesn't stop the charge of the weapon making it do a lot more damage making it really really good with this anointed for zane so you're going to want that and then you're going to want a times two on this because they can roll times two and that's going to be a massive damage increase for these and then just get every element you can um just for all the different situations you can just have all of them on now with this build, since we don't really have a ton of ammo regen, one of the things when I'm mobbing, I'm usually going to be using this artifact, the cut purse, just the cut purse, I guess, minus victory rush, which is also what I'd recommend. And this makes when you do melee damage, you replenish ammo. Now, if you don't know how this works, if you use a face puncher and summon your digiclone with that, and you have the victory or this artifact, the cut purse, your Digiclone will take this artifact and give you ammo back. So every shot with your face puncher is just going to pretty much fill up your rocket ammo. So usually when I'm mobbing, every little bit I'll use a Digiclone with the face puncher, which will just give me all of my ammo back. So I don't really have to worry about using ammo because the Ion Cannon, you don't go through ammo very much anyway because you have to charge it up and then shoot it so it, you're not firing it as fast as normal rocket launchers. And that's pretty much what I'm using all for the weapons. We already went over the class mod. Um, I'd probably say Donnie Brook is probably the best talent to go for for the class mod. Now, I think I do have one, yes, right here with charge speed that I just haven't put on because I recently got it. But if you use a weapon with or get a class mod with charge speed, which I'd probably recommend, this weapon will charge faster and get the benefit from it. So it charges faster, being able to shoot faster, and then it charges faster, just getting that increased damage much, much faster. So I definitely recommend getting that charge speed if you can get that. Now for the grenade mod, I'm pretty much just using any one with the on action skill gain 50% whatever action skill or whatever element damage. And if you have a bunch of these, switch them out for whatever situation you're using. Just make sure not to stack a 50% elemental um, increase. Make sure not to have the same one on your shield and grenade mod. Um, other than that, I really don't care which grenade it is. Now for the shield, 
this is the one I'm using, and this is super good. So this is from the Maliban Raid, and I think you could drop from both the bosses and the raid. And this thing's special is that it has two specials, but the only one we care about, it, it it's an amp shield. So what it does is when you're full, it uses either 20 or 25% of your max shielding to make the next hit do 125% increased damage. It's the highest amp shield in the game. The only thing close is 120%, but the one with 120% does 50% of your shields. So this thing is an incredibly strong, and I also got one with cryo damage on it, which I've pretty much, since I don't have another one of these with other elements of damage, I pretty much just keep this on all the time. It is so massive, especially with these weapons, which are by far the highest base damage of any weapon in the game getting massive percentage increases just increases it so much more than other weapons with a much lower base damage and 125 percent every time your max um shield this is one of the things that also lets us one shot bosses as you see in the footage i one shot a bunch of bosses which is pretty massive now also something specific for one shotting bosses is if you don't know with Zane, pretty much all of his talents, you can press them and then go into your inventory and it will count as you using an ability and an ending. So to proc any on action skill end abilities, it'll proc on any action skill use abilities. But when you come out of your inventory, the action skill is not has not been used. So you can just use it right away. And as you'll see before I shoot the boss and one shot the bosses. I usually pull out my drone. Then I usually do one ability cancel with my digi clone to make sure I have both my damage increases from my on action skill end from my shield and grenade mod to get that massive damage increase. And then I'll pop back out and then use my drone and then go on with killing the boss and it usually looks like this it usually charges up switch fast with my clone and then shoot and then you do a massive hit and this is what is allowing me in the footage in the video to one shot these bosses so that's pretty much the entire build subscribe if you want to see more borderlands for content leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys see about this build if you guys have any questions about where to get any of these items how the build works or anything like that Leave it in the comments, I try to reply to everybody, and thanks for watching.
Death comes for us all! But you first! Get him! 